Hello there, I'm Krishna Patel and welcome to tonight's Headliner. India's water story in 2025 is a crisis playing out in real time. The Central Groundwater Board's latest 2024 assessment says that our annual extractable groundwater is about 406.19 billion cubic meters. Now, while the actual extraction is around 245.64 billion cubic meters, that's 60.47% of what we can sustainably use. Now, in several states, we're pulling far more than nature can put back. Delhi, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan officially marked over-exploited in the same report meaning that we are mining water from our future. The Niti Aayog's Composite Water Management Index, which uses government planning data, projects India's total annual water demand will reach 1,093 billion cubic meters by 2025, almost the full capacity of all rivers, lakes and groundwater combined. Now, agriculture takes lion's share more than 80% of India's fresh water use, according to FAO and Jal Shakti Ministry figures, as much of it goes into water-hungry crops like paddy and sugarcane grown in semi-arid regions, a cropping mismatch that speeds up groundwater decline. Now, the World Resources Institute's Adequate Water Risk Atlas shows that more than 40% of India's population already lives in areas of high to extremely high water stress, meaning they use more than 80% of available supply every year. In cities, the problem is no better. Multiple municipal reports from 2024, like those from Ghaziabad, Ahmedabad, warn of summer shortages and growing tanker dependence. Now, this isn't just an infrastructure problem. Unsafe and insufficient water is linked to disease outbreaks and economic losses. The Stockholm International Water Institute notes that poor water quality contributes directly to diseases, still a leading cause of child morality in India. And while there are signs of action, the government's Jal Shakti Abhyan or Atal Bhujal Yojana and the groundwater mapping projects, even official data admits that progress is modest. Now, the 2024 CGWB report claims an increase of 15 billion cubic meters in recharge and a reduction of 3 billion cubic meters in extraction compared to the previous assessment. But these are really small changes against the scale of crisis. Unless India moves on, three urgent tracks, which is plugging leaks and reusing water in cities, shifting crop patterns and irrigation methods in farms and enforcing extraction caps based on transparent aquifer health data, we risk making day zero not just a warning, but an annual reality. Because the truth Backed by every data set from CGWB to WRI is this. Water in India is finite and we're running out of time before we run out of supply. With this and a lot more that's coming up, make sure that you stay tuned to the Fire Flash.